<laughs> what's this? What's this? It's the Battle of the Rakes. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Oh, John wins. It's the Battle of the Rakes over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Hey, 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 these mothers are squatting the wrong doggone way. I don't know what's really good. But, Jonathan, let me get them. Jonathan, let me get them. But, he talking some ridiculous price. He is. But, let me show y'all what I did do. Let me show y'all what I did do. Ooh, yeah. We got some nice little food. Ooh, y'all see that blue right there? Y'all see that blue flipping? Look at that, look at that, look at that blue. Look at that, look at that, look at it. Look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. Ooh, look at it. That blue flipping. Boy, you got to look good. I still need that front core support because my hood got a gap in it. But it's all good, though. As soon as I get that front core, the hood ain't going to fly open, though. Whose kid is this? Is this kid lost? Look, he's shaking his head at me. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, buddy. I had to clean them things up, but I, I had to get them. I had to get them. You know what I'm saying for some for some temporary sliders. Yeah, she looked good. But I like that blue flip. Y'all see that blue flip? Y'all see that blue? That blue right there. I'm finna get somebody to color match that bumper, both of them. After I get that core support, cause I do like that blue. It still need to be wet sanded. She pretty dog on dope. But it is definitely the battle of the rakes over here. Yeah. So, what's getting ready to happen is, I'm probably finna get them snowflakes off of John right there. And get them snowflakes right there because John is finna put a little itty bitty snowflake. Eh, that's a slight chance of snow right there. That's what those is. Yeah. But John finna get these right here. He want these wheels right here, and I want them dog on snowflakes. So I'm trying to talk him in the in the in the, in the switching. Which these these wheels is his already anyway, because I traded him these for the ones that's on the Yukon because the ones that's on the Yukon look better. They look better than the than the Stockianas, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, them dog on Stockianas, you know what I'm saying? Yay. But yeah. Hey, but look, what I'm gonna need y'all to do is actually I'm gonna do it for you. Let me reverse the camera for you so y'all can see what this license plate say. Let me reverse this camera. Hold on. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah. It's another day. going on in the shop today I don't know I'll tell y'all what's going on in the shop today Ooh, look at this line right here. I think I got a problem I think I got a problem y'all I might be some old some old uh, GM fanboy <laughs> you know what I'm saying it's all good though Chevy's everywhere they look good they all look good. They all they all coming along pretty good. I drove that right there yesterday. Yeah. Had my grandbaby, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know, I'm Papa Luke. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I had my grandbaby yesterday and we was riding on them donkeys yesterday. Cause I the 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 GMC is just it's just too loud. It's too loud for her. I mean I'm pretty sure she wouldn't mind, you know what I'm saying? But I spared her I spared her little young ears, you know what I'm saying? But I wanna um I wanna pull Huh I wanna I wanna pull this whole front clip off of this right here. I wanna pull this whole front clip off. And next week I'm probably gonna get mufflers. Probably gonna get mufflers put on it next week. Yeah. Yeah. And um hopefully today John gonna come and get these wheels right here because I'm gonna put them stockyanas on that mug right now. 
or he he the the the, the green snowflakes. I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get them snowflakes that was on the um the Tahoe that he just traded for. So, but what's going on today is this big doggone rust bucket right here. I'm putting a transmission pan on it, and I'm putting a new um transmission. A new transmission dip dipstick on it. Yep. And I still got a lot of people commenting about this thing right here. I mean, I could put a battery in it and crank it up right now and move it. You know what I'm saying? Drive it around town, do whatever. But the thing about it is I have lost interest in the car, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't want it. I don't want it to sit. If somebody, if somebody is really, truly, honestly serious about the car, then make me an offer, man. You know what I'm saying? Or I can split everything up. You ain't got to take the 1.8 T swap. You know what I'm saying? But you can see it's coming with everything. You know, turbo. I got a high flow manifold. Transmission. You know. I mean, what else we got over here? Boom, I got the axles. There's the cover for it. I got the axles, both of the axles right there. The, the standalone engine wire harness, everything is in that box right there. And then I got a cabby. This is the original dash, this right here. That's the original dash, I fiberglassed it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it is what it is, man, but I was kind of in a toss up. I didn't know whether I was going to switch to the cabby dash or fiberglass. You know what I'm saying? But now that I think about it, if I do it, I'm just going to fabricate a dash out of aluminum because I'm not going to need no, um, I'm not going to need heat and AC. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to delete all that. If the car is just going to be motor if I do it. So I would fabricate, you know, just a race dash out of aluminum to go on top of that, that rev my gauges and my temps and all that stuff right there. All that stuff right there will come out. You know what I'm saying? Because it don't take much to run this motor right here. All I would need is my headlights, my tail lights, uh, windshield wipers. You know what I'm saying? Turn signals. That's it. Everything else could go. All that other crap could go. But, um, I'm going to make some phone calls and wake some people up. Yeah. I'm going to make some phone calls and wake some people up. Because that doggone thing right there is an eyesore. It's an eyesore. Yeah. So. Anyway, y'all help your boy out, man. Subscribe to the channel. Yeah, subscribe to the channel, man. Help your boy out. Hit that like button. Turn on all post notifications. That way you notified whenever I drop a new video. And I got this muscle right here. I was going to put it on the Yukon, but I don't think I'm going to put it on there because I don't know what it is. John says it's a Flowmaster, but I've seen Flowmasters, and that's some old Turbo X Flow something. I don't think it's a, I, I don't think that's a flow master, but it is what it is. Anyway, I'll be back whenever I get something done. We got this thing right here. I got the, um, I got a transmission pan in it. I had a, a little bit of an accident right there. I had that doggone pan up and I had it all dry and it just went to tripping. And I spilled a bunch of it. But it is what it is. We throw some oil dry on it, but anyway. We got that new pan on. Yeah. Got that new pan on and got the new, um, the new dipstick on it right there. See, 
that new dipstick tube. I got it put on because John was tripping about this kink right here that you can barely see. You see that kink right there? I guess the guys who put the transmission in it, they, um, they kinked it right there. Yeah. But anyway, that, that, that transmission pan right there is deeper than the one that come off of there. That's the one that come off of there right there. Yeah, so it's deeper. So I need to do my little research and figure out because he only brought me a gallon of um, transmission fluid. I'm going to dump it all in there, but I got a feeling that it's going to need more in order to move or in order to register on the dipstick. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I need to get a hold of John because he need to come over here. I don't know already spilled transmission fluid on my floor and I'm not too happy about that. Which I drained the majority. The majority's in that jug. That was just a little bit that was in the pan right there. Cause the pan and the and the um the gasket got stuck together. And I yanked it. Like an idiot. Yep, yeah, like an idiot, I yanked it down and transmission fluid everywhere. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, I got everything put on put on there. And um, I'm getting ready to fill it up and drive it. Because I did the brakes, dipstick tube, transmission tube, and now I'm ready for it to go. For sure. Ew. Got a special delivery. Got a special delivery, boy. I got them dog on 60, 40 split seats, <laughs> boy. I'm excited. I'm excited about those 60, 40 split seats. Yeah, I'm finna refurb them. I'm finna refurb them before I put them in. But that's why I didn't. That's why I didn't reupholster the um, the seats in the in the Tahoe. Yeah, but um, oh boy, that oh boy that brought him over here. He was in a doggone cat eye cammed aluminum block. I'm sorry I didn't film it for you guys, but they was in a rush to leave, so they kind of just dropped him off and tow out. Dropped him off, got paid and tow out. But yeah, man, I'm finna clean these doggone seats up, let them dry. And they got the same doggone interior, the same color interior as my back seat. So I'm gonna be in there. At least I'm gonna be matching. And then I get the, you know, yeah, got that armrest. Yeah, I've been wanting them. Anyway. Yeah. It's another day. I put like three days in this one video because I had a lot going on, but um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give y'all an update on where we at on this, on this thing right here. So I need the front, I need the front chrome door handles, which I'll probably get those this week. The front chrome door handles. Um, I'm probably gonna do the chrome, um, the chrome mirror caps. I still need that core support because I got a gap right there. I'm probably gonna end up getting new, a new fender liner to go in there. Um, the windshield wiper. I do have the windshield wiper. But I still gotta order the um, the support that goes right here. So I got the windshield wiper. I got the plastic. I got the plastic um, the nut that goes on that right there that holds this tight to the metal right there. I got that plastic nut. It should be here Wednesday or something like that. Um, I'm probably gonna change these right here to chrome. 
Um, and after I do that right there, we're gonna be we're gonna be pretty well off to the doggone paint shop. But I'm gonna show y'all the interior. Yeah, we got everything put in. I'm still missing that um, that puddle light, that puddle light down at the bottom. I'm missing that, but I'm probably gonna do LED on those right there. This right here was cracked. That right there was cracked when I got it. Probably gonna replace this right here, but this is just stuff that's gonna happen over time. I could probably glue that and you know be happy with it because this ain't gonna be no show rig, you know what I'm saying? I still got a little bit of cleaning to do, but she's all put together, you know what I'm saying? I got everything put together and the inside looks good. She's still loud, I need that. I need that back strip that goes across the back. I still gotta put the um, oh shit handles in right here. Yeah, I gotta put them in right there. Um, I mean, just some, just some, just some cleaning. You know what I'm saying? I got some fingerprints up there that I didn't do. But other than that, everything works pretty doggone good. Everything works pretty good, gang. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like the more um the more I clean on it, <clears throat> the better she feels. So, and then I need um I need seat belts. Because these seat belts right here, these seat belts. I got that I got that plastic piece in the back that goes right there. But these seat belts ain't right. That seat belt right there, that seat belt on that side is locked up. This seat belt right here, it just ain't right. So maybe I'll maybe I'll send these seat belts off to get redone. But if I get them redone, I'm gonna get them redone in black. Yeah. But the seat belts back here are pretty good. The seat belts. Let's see. I mean, they sound kind of iffy. Yeah, they sound kind of iffy. I don't. What's this? And I don't know. I don't. I don't think that button took up. I just got to go through everything, make sure all the buttons and stuff working. But that's just a little update, y'all. Anyway, if y'all, if y'all uh, still here watching this video, hit that like button, smash that notification bell, turn on all post notifications. That way, you're notified when I drop another video but that's just a little update on the Yukon so that, I'm gonna I'm end this video man I'm out I'm out gang peace